the East produced a second number one seed, the University of North Carolina. Led by the incredible play of Vince Carter and Antoine Jamison, Carolina and its legendary coach Dean Smith rebounded from a difficult start. The Heels had lost their first three Atlantic Coast Conference games, yet still managed to earn a record 23rd straight tournament invitation. Out of the West, Road, Kentucky, the third top seed to advance to the Final Four. Rick Pitino and the defending national champion depended on the play of All-America Ron Mercer to once again propel them into the NCAA tournament. The Wildcats were ranked in the top 10 all year in search of their seventh national title. Coming from the southeast bracket was surprising Arizona. The quick young cats were led by the outstanding backcourt of junior Miles Simon and freshman Mike Vivi. In making the tournament for the 13th straight year, Coach Lute Olson's cats amassed 19 regular season victories. Once the brackets came out, we felt we felt we match up with any team in the country. Arizona met South Alabama in the tournament's first round, where the Wildcats found themselves down by 10 in danger of an early exit. I think the, the South Alabama game showed the tenacity of this group in the Never Say Die. The second round saw a second Cats comeback. This time a win over the College of Charleston and a berth into the Sweet 16. After that game, I think we played a little relaxed and I mean, everybody just kept, kept on picking us to lose and we just wanted to prove people wrong. Arizona's next turtle was the tournament favorite, number one, Kansas. Everybody had them cutting down the nets already, but uh, now the Arizona roadblock got in the way. Bibby, no look to Anderson for the dunk. Great pass by Bibby. Dickerson, tough shot. Wow. Bibby comes out with it. In traffic. Arizona has pulled off the biggest upset of this tournament. After that game, that just proved, you know, to us that, that we could, you know, conquer any situation. Against Providence, the Wildcats were tested again and needed overtime to defeat the Friar. Arizona starts the celebration. They're heading to Indianapolis and the final four. On Friday, the four teams gathered for one final practice. In less than 24 hours, they would return to the same port and begin the pursuit of a national championship. Final four extra, half a dollar, 50 cents. The RCA Dome in Indianapolis would serve as the stage for the 1997 College Basketball Championship the final stop on the road to the championship dream. The first semifinal pitted Arizona against North Carolina. Even though we're ranked number four seed and everyone else is number one, rankings really doesn't make a difference. I mean, we have a lot to lose. Hopefully I stay um, mentally focused throughout 
and play basketball. That's the most important thing. You don't have any time to um, get away from the game of basketball against this Arizona team because they'll jump out on you. Everybody's picked us to lose every game, and, and we've just stuck together and believed in ourselves, and that's what's gotten us to this point, and nothing's going to change when we step out on the court. This is what college basketball, college life is all about. And uh, if you're not out here having fun, then, you know, you should probably just go ahead and get yourself a 95 job. Tips to Simon for a two-point basket, three seconds into the game. Arizona's early enthusiasm would soon fade as Carolina kicked up its heels and quickly threatened to turn the game into a blowout. Carter rips away the rebound. Williams ahead, and what a pass. Got it to Carter, now comes to Zwicker. Jump shot, top of the foul, circle good, and it's 11 to four in favor of the Tar Heels. Time for Dickerson to get off, Jim. They've got to get him scoring. He's going away, two on one. Carter's a finisher. His young team without one senior that plays in some trouble here early. Down 15-4, probably with some teams you'd, you'd really be worried. But this team has been the kind of team that, hey, they'll be down, they'll be up, they'll, you know, who knows what's going to happen next. What did happen was the emergence of Mike Bibby and Miles Simon, Arizona's peerless backcourt, which helped Cats claw their way back into the game. He just stepped up to another level that I've never seen him step up to before. Maybe he bounced to Simon. He pumps a three, and it's good. Miles Simon. Miles just steps up at the right times, and, you know, in the first half, he took it upon himself to, you know, knock down his shots and play with that air of confidence that, you know, rubbed off on all of us. Coming front court now is Simon for Arizona. Here's another three, and it's good. 17 to 14. Good to see Miles having the confidence from outside the arc, two in a row. Nobody else was hitting, and, uh, you know, I just try to take it upon myself to, to lift the team up. Simon scored eight points in three minutes as the Carolina lead evaporated. Zona began playing its brand of basketball. Game a little frenetic right now. To be quite honest with you, that's what Arizona would like. Dean Smith, his team is really kind of out of sync here, going for the spectacular as opposed to the solid. That's not the way they win. Midway through the first half, both teams settled into a half-court offense. Jason Terry gave Arizona a much-needed boost, while Tar Heel Vince Carter got his in spectacular style. And when Bennett Davison had to leave the game with foul trouble, Carter and Carolina found they could gather points inside. But Arizona discovered its own interior game and kept the score close until Carter kept coming, scoring 15 in the first half. Crossover has the ball knocked away and stolen. Here goes Vince Carter on the run. Bibby chasing him. He'll put it up, score it, and he's fouled. Down three with a little more than a minute left in the half. The scoreless Bibby buried a three. Tie good, 31-31. First basket of the game for Mike Bibby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when Miles Simon capped his 15-point half, the Wildcats have run down the lead by the break. And Zwicker getting in foul trouble. What control of the body by Miles Simon. And the Cats will take the lead into the locker room. And they have the momentum. Arizona 34 and North Carolina 31. U-R-A. Though they led at halftime, there was no time for the young cats to celebrate. I asked them how they thought they had played, and, and to a person it was like terrible. I said, well then, you know, I mean, we're, we play terribly and we're, and we're up three, uh, then let's get out and get after them and do the things that, uh, that we can do. The cats' formula for second half success would start with their sensational freshman. I was a little bit nervous before the game started, but that's why my shots weren't falling, I think, because I was, I was timid and with my shot selection. And I mean, I just came out in the second half and just let it go. His confidence renewed, Bibby would find his game. 